Hello Plant Powered People. Today I'm going to be giving you my top five vegan bodybuilding tips. People ask me all the time how I've been able to build so much muscle in a short period of time on a high carb, low protein, low fat diet and I'm going to give you the tools to do that because it's really not as hard as it sounds. You simply need to be informed on the best tips. So. First off, you need to figure out a reason why you're trying to build muscle. Why does that mean something to you? It can be that you want to get in shape, you want to advance in your sport or athletic activity. For me personally, I'm building muscle as a vegan activist tool. I want to speak out for the animals that can't speak for themselves and by showing that you can build any physique you want on a plant-based diet is really inspiring for people maybe to try veganism. Number two, and probably the most important thing if you actually want to build muscle on a plant-based diet, is food. I just hit my arms in, the, in, in my workout, biceps and triceps, and right here I have my smoothie that I already made. It's about a thousand calories. Food is way more important for building muscle than actually what you do in the gym. I think it's about 80% in the kitchen, 20% in the gym in terms of building muscle. So it's really important to get quick releasing carbs right after your workout. I always bring a, a bunch of dates in the gym with me so that the minute I drop my last weight, I eat a few dates, which is like the easiest digesting carbohydrates possible. And then I go back to my house and immediately make my post-workout smoothie. So in here, I have a about six bananas, one large ket mango, one tablespoon of chia seeds, and one tablespoon of hemp seeds. The way I get my protein to build muscle is chia seeds and hemp seeds together have a really good ratio of, of omega-3s to omega-6s that really help out recovery and building muscle after your workout. I have experienced both vegan bodybuilding on a cooked vegan diet and for the past two months on a raw vegan diet, and I can tell you both of them work if you're eating enough food and know what you're doing. So if you're eating a cooked vegan diet, some basic vegan bodybuilding meals are stuff like rice and beans, whether that be black beans, garbanzo beans, or kidney beans, um, lots of fruit, lots of carbohydrates, whether you're doing raw or cooked, quinoa should be a staple, sweet potatoes, and a little bit of nuts and seeds. So those high carbohydrate, low fat vegan foods. Now if you're trying to do it raw, as I've been doing for the past two months, and actually making equal or more muscle gains than when I was doing it cooked, my staple foods are bananas, mangoes, avocados, chia seeds, and hemp seeds. Number three, lift with good form. There's a lot of people in the gym that think just lifting heavy weights is going to give them muscle and that's really not the case. You need to have a mind-muscle connection where if you're doing an exercise, let's say it's tricep dips. If you're trying to hit the triceps, you can easily do a tricep dip, activating mostly your chest. But you need to think about it and get that mind-muscle connection and say, all right, I'm going to have good form and I'm going to activate the triceps instead of allowing it in your chest. So oftentimes that means lowering the weight compared to what you think you can lift and actually getting better form and you'll see that the workout is actually much harder. Another good tip for that is to lift with a lifting partner. Oftentimes, if you're lifting by yourself, your form's going to be sloppy and you won't be able to get that next rep in. If you're lifting with a partner who's there spotting you, you can usually get one or two more reps than you really think you can with their help. Tip number four for vegan bodybuilding, I'm sorry to say, but cut out the cardio. Cardio is an extremely healthy activity for people just looking to get fit and even tone out their muscles, but if you're looking to build big bulky muscles on a vegan diet, you're going to have to say goodbye to intense cardio for a while. That means run like four mile runs or two hour bike rides. Really you should be putting most of your caloric expenditure in the weightlifting gym. Cardio is essentially a fat burner and a calorie burner, and right now what I'm trying to do throughout the winter season is bulk up get as large and put on as much weight as possible and then once spring comes starting to implement cardio and dieting so that you can get lean and ripped for the summer. But right now through the winter months for about six months I'm going to be trying to eat as much as I can, lowering my cardio activity as much as I can and really pushing myself hard in the gym. I really recommend you don't try to lose fat and build muscle at the same time. It is really hard to do. I really recommend that you have a bulking phase where you put on a little body fat and start to build muscle underneath that fat and then come spring or summertime, you start to implement cardio so that you can lean out and those muscles can show. 
Now the last and extremely important tip is recovery. That means sleep, that means stretching, and that means resting outside of the gym. If you're really looking to build muscle, you wanna use all your energy in the gym and use all your time out of the gym to rest and let those muscles recover. I always say you actually build no muscle in the gym. You're literally tearing muscle fibers apart in there, and the way muscle gets built is by healing, resting, recovering. So that means eating the healthiest, lowest inflammatory foods possible. Possible, which means fruits and vegetables. It also means sleeping at least you know seven to nine hours a night. It also means stretching out your muscles because in bodybuilding we make our muscles very tight and in order to continue lifting heavy and to continue having a body that functions properly, you really need to stretch out those muscles, which is why I practice yoga. I'm a yoga teacher and I practice yin yoga, vinyasa yoga, things that are stretching out and loosening my muscles because of what I'm doing to them in the gym when I'm, you know, squatting 200 pounds or bench pressing, you know, 160 pounds. So recovering is super important. That's where nutrition comes in, eating those healthy foods that are going to let you recover quickly so that you can go push yourself again in the gym. If you want more tips on vegan bodybuilding and simply how to live a healthy vegan lifestyle, check out my website and YouTube channel. Plantriotic.com is my website. My YouTube channel is also called Plantriotic. I have tons of videos from myself and other people from the vegan bodybuilding world like Robert Cheek, Chad Byers, Derek Treesize, Tori Washington, Jahina Malik that are all doing amazing things and building their body to perfection on a cruelty-free, healthy vegan lifestyle. You can also check out Mike Vlasity from Fruit and strength for raw, for raw vegan bodybuilding tips awesome stuff there and if you like what you're seeing make sure to subscribe to my youtube channel like the facebook page and most importantly subscribe to the plantriotic itunes podcast i'm putting a lot of effort and energy into that and we're having tons of cool people come in to help you live the vegan lifestyle that you know you deserve make sure to give this video a thumbs up check out my instagram for bodybuilding pictures and have an awesome day much love All right, I don't even know what my tips are. <laughs>